Yo, it's the Let Us Know One Hip Hop Station, home of the Ricky Spalding Morning Show, High 107.9, 8 Town, the most high radio guys, Stu. I'm in the building holding it down for my brother Reese in 8 Town. I got a special guest in the building. Yeah, yeah, what's up, ATL? What's happening? The boy PT Cruiser. You already know, we on cruise, we lose, baby. GA Legend. You already know, we going all the way up. We going all the way up. What's up, baby? You already know, man. Troy has given us classic music for 20 years. It's lasted the test of time. Yeah. So we're going to put some respect on it. You already know that. What's that? My happening? man carries the belt for a reason. You already know, man. Your boy PT Cruiser, man. Much love. I represent this ATL thing to the fullest. Definitely. Um, You know, you one that, you know, he wants all the smoke right now. Yeah, you already know that, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know what I mean, dog? You know, bro, I just put the post up, man, just saying what I felt, man. I ain't expect. I put up a whole bunch of BS. You feel me, man? They don't ever get that kind of backlash. But I guess they say you mess with them yeah. alphabet boys and just turn to something totally it, different. You it, feel it, me? It, it, it was the timing. Yeah. It was the timing of the post. Mm-hmm. Um, You know, for people that don't know, you know, Troy had a, a, a an opinion on the on the costume or the dress that Little Nas X was wearing, yeah. you know his uh, his attire for the day at the Grammy Awards, and you know he felt like you know is this the images that we portray to the kid? Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Man. Uh, just for the people, just go ahead and clarify your statement one time. So you know they can what I mean? You know, his mouth. you know, I don't I don't even remember everything that I said, but whatever I said, I meant. You mm-hmm. feel me, man? Because I have I have sons, man. You know what I mean? I'm raising my young boys up to be young men. You know what I mean? I'm not making it making it cool and comfortable to to practice being gay in my household. You know what I mean? This ain't nothing that they even tripping off of, but right. you still got to be out front, you know what I mean, as a father and say, hey, man, this ain't what's going on around here, man. You know what I mean? Men are with women. Heterosexual men, man. We raising young, black, heterosexual males, man. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Uh, so just for the record, are you homophobic? I'm not homophobic at all, man. You know, I know a lot of gay people, man. I've been doing this for 20 years, and this is the first time this thing ever came up about. Come on, man. I took more pictures with more gay people, man. I had more gay people (laughs) serving me, man, in all these restaurants. The whole nine, man. You know what I mean? It ain't even my place. But what you do at home is on you, and what I do at home on me, man. You know what I mean? Just because I see these gay people out and about don't mean I have to go home and lower my standards or morals or what I believe in or what I stand for. Right. I feel like... It isn't even possible to be homophobic in Atlanta. I just said that, man. How? You know how? What are you going to be in a box, man? Come on, man. Open or accepting to have interactions with gay people in Atlanta, you just might as well move out. Yeah, brother, man. Come on, man. It's impossible. I live in the gayest neighborhood. Uh, My studio in the (laughs) gayest neighborhood around here, Casaberry Hill, man. You know what I mean? And I love. Everybody over there, man, you know what I mean? The gays, the straight, I know them all, and they know me. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, they respect me as I respect them and, and their preferences and everything. But just because you're gay, I don't have to push that agenda on my son. Uh, do you feel like there's homophobia in the hip-hop community? Um, Nah, I don't think there's no homophobia in the hip-hop community. They take everybody. They take everybody. You feel me, man? You know? It's it's cool, you know, if that's, if that's what you're about, that's what you own, man. Music is music. I hate for music to be... I hate for your sexual preference to be what drives your career or your music. You feel me, man? Make just gonna make mu- music. Yeah, yeah make music. Yeah. And expression. Um, speaking of, you know, just letting the art express itself. Like, you know, artists from back in the day, they wear crazy, outrageous costumes. That, yeah. You know, weren't masculine. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't think they caught the backlash that some of the artists now get. You know, like Prince or Michael yeah. Jackson or, yeah. or Charlie Wilson. You know One, I mean? they ain't making the music. <laughs> you feel me, man? Maybe we made the music, we can let some of the outfits pass. <laughs> you know, man. You know what I mean? I ain't got no problem with that. I just said that I wouldn't wear no outfit like that. You can wear whatever you want to wear, man. Everybody got the right to do whatever they want to do, be whatever they want to be. Just for me and my house, we're going to do it like this. Do you feel like. What's up, baby? Shout out Miss Shanika in the building, man. Uh, do you feel like there are rappers out now besides like Lil Nas X, like Lil Uzi Vert or or Young Thug that are pushing an agenda as well? Because their clothes that they wear are, are different. Yeah. You know I mean, and the youth, they look up to them. They love their music. Yeah. Do you feel like, you know, that they're that they're pushing an agenda or do you just feel like they're just expressing themselves? You know what, man? They can do that, man. They can express themselves. You know, I don't really just approve of the pocketbook carrying and stuff Mm -hmm. like that man but hey that's y'all different strokes for different folks you know what i mean but my son ain't gonna be carrying no pocketbook (laughs) (laughs) um do you feel like you know since you made your statements that you know people are trying to silence your opinion a little bit um man you know what 
for everybody that has a negative thought about it, man, there's somebody giving me a positive comment about it as well. You know what I mean? It's a lot of fathers that stepped up, a lot of mothers that stepped up, telling me for thanking, thanking me for even making a stance and saying something, addressing something that everybody can see, but everybody also act blind to. Yes. Uh, you know, your name is Pastor Troy. Yeah. You have a religious background. Yeah. Your father is a pastor. Yeah, man. He is a pastor. Like, what do you feel like, you know, the role of religion plays. You know what, man? I was raised. I was raised in the church, man. You know what I mean. My parents have been married for forty-eight years. This is my example of he 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 set the structure for what I obtained to be as a man. You feel me, man? I want to be like my dad in every way. Hell, my name is Pastor Troy. Right. You feel me? I respect him and I love him. And the things that he instilled in us and our family, I cherish. And I want to pass it down to my son. And I can't wait to see the day where I meet his wife and my grandkids. You feel me, man? Mm-hmm. And the generation just keep on going and going, man. That's how it's supposed to be. Definitely. You know? Um, switch subjects a little bit. Switch sides a little bit. Have, have the LBGT community been hitting on you in the DMs? Oh, they all in the DM, hey, man. Bro. They all in the DM with all that <laughs> BS. You feel me, man? It's funny. It's entertaining, man. But uh-huh. I'm glad I got everybody's attention because we still ain't folding. We still ain't changing our thought process. It's real, man. It's my opinion. It's how I feel. Everybody entitled to do that, man. You can be as gay as a $3 bill. I don't care, but I don't have to subset, um, subject my children to it. All right. Um, you know, when you go to the Georgia Dome, or you go to the stadium out in Augusta, or mm-hmm. Athens. Yeah. Go out to the stadium, Athens. Mm-hmm. You gonna hear some Pastor Troy come over with them loud speakers. Oh yeah, man. You, you already know, know man. Dog, we've been doing this for twenty years now, man. You man, much love everybody. Been rocking with me, man. I'm glad that I made music to extend the test of time. Do you feel like? Do you feel like this may like hinder some of your future business opportunities, past the present? Man, I'm independent, black owned. You know what I mean? I'm not dealing. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I don't survive off of the LGBT community. Them couple. Gay dudes who got my CD, man, you ain't paying no bills. <laughs> so you want to stop and follow me, go on and stop. Definitely. You feel me, man? No, we all right. You know, man, I do things my own way, man. I don't have to depend on that. A lot of people do. That's why they're so stuck in the closet and scared to say what they have to say. But I don't have them problem. All right. Uh, you rep the A. Lil Nas X is from the A. Is there a possibility of y'all uniting and, you know what I mean, coming together just for, you know what I mean, a common cause? Um, you know what I mean? I respect him, man. He can do his do his thing, do whatever he do. I, I'm not looking forward to doing no song or none of that stuff, man. I love to have a sit down and powwow with him to let him know, man. You can be as gay as you want to be. You can wear whatever you want to wear. I just wouldn't wear nothing like that, man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I open up doors for Nas X. Nas X ain't open up no doors for me. Got to respect it. Eight sound. The homie Pastor Troy is in the building. It is a big game weekend. You know, hey, yeah, man, it's going all the way down. Super Bowl, is, who you with? 49ers, Chiefs, who you with? Man, I think I'm going to go Chiefs, man. I like that boy Tyron Matthews, man, holding it all the way down. My boy Eric Berry was up there, man. I wish he would have still been with the squad, but my boy coming back next year, hopefully he'll be with the Falcons. Let's go, EB. I definitely think that the game is going to be determined if Nick Bosa could get to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. If yeah. he could get some pressure on Mahomes and not let that boy get off, then yeah. I think the 49ers might be able to put out a victory. Man, it's a good game, man. I'm looking forward to it, man. Your boy Patrick Troy representing for the city, man. Everybody be blessed this weekend, man. And I love you. Hey, town that's the homie, Pastor Troy. Uh-huh. <laughs> we ready. You already know how it's going down, man. Make sure you keep it locked. Log on to hotspotatl.com for the full interview as well. Y'all know what it is. Hey, Town Boy Radio. Guys, doing Hot 107.9. <laughs>